subscribe to your own new car. Want to own a new house and land? Have a health and medical insurance plan? In everything, finally, how to get these possible dreams? Invest your children in an educational plan. Travel what you want. How cool life insurance can be useful during your lifetime. So this topic present helps how to compute the present value of annual view. Objectives Find the present of annual view. State the benefits, the payment for annual view. Present value of annual view. It is the cash value of all future payments given a set of discount rate. Knowing this formula can help you determine the value of your annuity or structured settlement if you choose to sell future payments for cash. High discount rates decrease the present value of your own annuity. Importance of present value of an annuity due. The present value of an annuity due is based on a concept called the time value of money. Payment schedule decades in the future are worthless today because of uncertain economic conditions. The current payments have more value because they can be invested in the meantime. How to settle some present of an annuity due? If you own an annuity or receive money from a structured settlement, you may choose to sell future payments to a purchasing company for immediate cash. Use annuities to prepare for your future. Annuities are used mainly to supplement more traditional sources of retirement income such as social security and pension plans. Common features include tax deferred group. You will pay no income taxes on the earnings from your own annuity investment until you begin making withdrawals or receiving periodic payments. Note that withdrawals prior to the age of 59 and a half may be subject to an additional 10% tax. This is footnote number one. Unlimited contribution. Generally speaking, there is no limit to the amount of after-tax money that you can put into an annuity, regardless of your income level or sources of income. Choice of investment option. Fixed annuities offer a stated rate of return for a specified period of time. Variable annuities include a variety of investment options such as stocks, bonds, money market instruments that fluctuate with market condition footnotes. No mandatory withdrawals. If your annuity is not part of an REA or a qualified retirement plan, you are not required begging taking minimum distribution after age of 72. This is a footnote. Debt benefits. Payout methods in general include insurance futures that guarantee payment to your designated beneficiaries. If you die before withdrawals begin, in most cases, this payment does not have to pass through the probate. Lifetime income benefits. Typically, 
you will have several options for receiving annually payments for the rest of your life, including the choice of continuing payments to the beneficiaries for a set period of time. Idea and option for selling my payments. Once you decide how much money you need, you can opt to sell the entire value of the annuity, a portion of the total value of a lump sum, or a specific portion of a specific number of payments. This is the formula of the present value of an annuity due where present value of an annuity due is equals to P as a cash flow plus P or as a cash flow or payments multiplied by 1 minus multiplied by 1 plus rate raised to the negative N minus 1 divided by the rate. Note, if the problem sentence always promised to payment at the end of each period, take note guys, at the end of each period, you will use this formula. Where N is the number of periods, C or P is the cash value of annuity payments per period. I or R as an interest rate as 1% or 0.01. And you will find the present value of an annuity due, which is term of PP. Example number 1. An annuity due's interest rate is 5%. You are promised the money at the end of 3 years and the payment is $100 per year. Present value of an annuity due is equals to P as a cash flow plus P as a cash flow multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus rate for an interest raised to the negative N minus 1 divided by the rate. So the first step that you will do is to add first 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the negative 3 minus 1. Then after that, if you already get the answer, subtract that from 1. Then you will divide that to 0 0.05. After you have already get the answer, you will add 100 plus 100 which is equals to 200 and the answer is $285.94 Next example of present annuity fee An individual makes a rental payment of $1,200 per month and wants to know the present value of their annual rentals over a 12-month period. The payments are made at the start of each month. The current interest rate is 8% per annum. If the sentence problem is always start at the beginning or at the start, use this formula. Present value of an annuity due is equals to cash flow or payment multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i raised to the negative n divided by interest and multiplied again by 1 plus interest. Solution to problem number 2. Present value of rentals. This will be the solution. You will substitute the payment or cash flow to 1200 and at the same time you will replace the i as a 0 0.08 divided by 12 years and the number of years is 12. The first step that you will do is to add 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12 to the negative 12 
And after that, you subtract the answer from 1. Then divide again to 0 0.08 divided by 2. And then you will multiply again from 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 2. So you will get 11.57 and bring down $1,200. So $1,200 multiplied by 11.57 is equal to 13,884. Problem number 3. Annabel is taking out a business loan requiring payments of $5,000 at the beginning of each month for 12 months. The annual rate is 12%. Calculate the present value of an annual due. Let's find how, how to identify the meaning and the value of different variables in this problem. First, because the interest rate is annual, but the payments are monthly. So the interest rate will need to divide by 12. Hence, the rate we will use in our calculation is 1%. Solution Number, number of period is 12, cash, cash value of an annuity payments per period is $5,000. Interest or interest rate is 1% or 101, and we need to find the present value of an annuity due or PD. For the problem, present value. First, we need to substitute the payment or cash flow as a 5000 Then we will put the interest as a 1%. And then n is to the negative 12. So what will be the first step in the solution? Add first 1 plus 0 0.01 raised to the negative 12. After you have already get the answer, we will subtract 1 from the answer of 1 plus 0 0.01 raised to the negative 12 divided by 0 0.01. Then multiply again from 1 plus 0 0.01 and then multiply again by 5,000. And the answer is 56,000. 838.14